awards here at the Museum of Comedy. We have our amazing shortlisted films ready to be screened at the awards. We have team leaders, we have some of our judges present here today. The place is absolutely buzzing and we can't wait to kick off the awards ceremony. But before we do that, let's have a look at this year's shortlisted film trailers. Well, what an amazing selection indeed. This year we have six shortlisted films. Um, we have spoofs of The House of Gucci, Last Night in Soho, Dunes, um, The Power of the Dog and Belfast. And the uh, approaches vary greatly from very crude ones to really professional looking uh, black and white and uh, in colour. It's an amazing variety. So it's all very exciting. Uh, we will start showing the shortlisted films very soon. But first of all, I would like to take a minute to, thanks, uh, to thank our sponsors today. Among our 2022 sponsors, we have British Association of Journalists, Icon London Magazine, Kirk & Kirk Eyewear, the online CBD shop. We thank all our sponsors for your continuous support. Thank you very much. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. And now, on to the first film. The first film of this year is Behind the House of Gucci by Artie Brennan, spoofing the House of Gucci, uh, the saga uh, of the Gucci family starring Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Al Pacino, uh, Jeremy Irons. Um, so without further ado, let's watch Behind the House of Gucci by Artie Brennan. Working on House of Gucci, we had a great ensemble of actors. It's really amazing to watch them work together and they all have their own process. You have to let them be loose and inhabit the character. Unfortunately, a lot winds up on the cutting room floor. I designed it myself. It's all a lie. You have a gift, Paolo. You are the future of Gucci. Stop! You want to make me cry. Look at Niagara fall. I'm drippy, drippy, drippy. Can you keep the secret? Father, son, and the house of Gucci. Oh, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Gucci. It's finger licking Gucci. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Ba da ba da da, I'm Gucci. Move. Can we cut? Well, in some scenes, just need to be cut all together. When I asked the tarot cards, I pulled death. My husband. Power. Gucci and love. I'm not even here. I'm like a little moose. Sometimes you work with an actor who takes it a bit.
too far and throws the script out, which is difficult when you're working on a historical piece like this. Why? Oh, why did you do this to me? I'm Mario! It's Maurizio. Oh, we are brothers. We are cousins. Oh, why? You rip my heart out and throw it into the street. Oh, why? Oh, why do you get to save the princess? Is he talking about Super Mario Brothers, the, the video game? Mario, it's me, Luigi. Yep. yep. When you eat, do not confuse a chocolate with the shit. They may taste the same, but only one is the shit. Did he just say he likes to eat a shit? Yeah, yeah, he did. This is, he stinks. He stinks. I can't do this. It's my name is Gucci too. Oh, Jesus. 14 hours and 187 takes. That's how long I watched Jared Leto and Al Pacino dance and make grunting noises in order to get two lines. This is House of Gucci. continue. Well, what a film. Some pretty good laughs there for us. Delivering a punch. Thank you, Artie Brennan. Uh, that was amazing and good luck. Uh, on to your next film. Next film we're showing this year is Last Night in Boho, uh, which is a spoof of Last Night in Soho by Beck Wallen. Yo, ma a zombie queen, ma heat, a sicker, a zombie queen, ma cold, a lot of a zombie queen. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Ellie Turnip! Fashion sensation! Oh, gorgeous! <laughs> it's the posty! Fashion school! I got into fashion school! Oh, mummy! Oh, yeah, like super duper fashion school, the big smoke. Fashion school. Lovely. Make it as a big designer, just one problem. Our holes could be nicer. Oh, I can't handle it. Need something not so bad. Oh, I start looking. I find myself. Oh, hello, lovely. It's time to sleep. Oh, no. Monsters probably peeping. Oh oh. Shadows slowly creeping. Oh no. I got those awful feelings. Oh oh. As I start my dreaming. And just what are you doing here, my lovely fine thin you? Sorry? I said, what are you doing here, my lovely? Oh, I'm going to be a singer. Are you now? Go on then, let's hear you. Try, try holding the notes. Oh. 
Now sing the notes, but don't actually sing. Oh, I think we might have an even better use for that mouth. <laughs> Phew, it were just a dream. Is it? Because you're blonde and you're wearing makeup. Just like Sandy. Now I'm on my back. I don't like like that. I wanted to sing a song. But it's turned out wrong. I'm starting to get so. I think I've turned into a... Oh! 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 It was a dream! Oh my god! It was a dream! Oh! <laughs> oh, take it! Who's your daddy? No, oh, Sandy! Oh. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm not. I'm not having a very good time here. No, I hear you're not. Some policewoman came round today to say that you'd gone mad, banging on about some young girl that got murdered. Yes, I suppose that was me. What? Well, you see, I wanted to be an actress or a singer, but they're basically the same thing, an actress and a whore. Fuck. The young me did die upstairs, but I sent all those bastards to a real live hell. <laughs> you fucking... They deserved it. Yeah, it works for me. But I'm going to have to kill you anyway. I, I won't stab you. It'll be nice. It'll be easy. At the gates of hell, they wait for you. And you will answer no. for your sins, but there, there's nothing you can do. And you chose this path to justify your way. Murderer! Oh, I know. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I'm smoking no. hot now. Not quite the way I wanted. It's all gone tits up. This house is super haunted. Ellie's run away. But I think I'm gonna stay. It's getting hot in here. Bernie, Bernie, bye bye. That was an amazing fashion show from Zena Brunette again. Ellie, it's early! The sun is setting on another day Where darkness closes so I start to pray That I might survive another night Next to my lover, my parasite Where with the one girl I find my bed Your pendant torches racing through my head the lights go out, the fever takes control What's gonna happen to my human soul? Yo, ma, a zombie queen My heat, a seeking, a zombie queen My cold, blooded, my zombie queen Well, well done, Beck. Uh, what an amazing film indeed. Quite a few characters played there. I quite like the ending as well. Well done, it was amazing. Thank you so much for taking part and good luck to you too. Uh, the next film we are about to show is Beach by James Allen and it's a spoof of June. Um, Multi-million um, sci-fi film. So uh, James has quite a task there. Let's see how it goes for him. Make me. Use the voice. Give me the water. Not quite. Give me the water. No. 
What? You must come with me to Arkansas, my son. There we will rule with desert power. I don't like sand. It's rough, it's coarse, and it's irritating. It gets everywhere. I didn't want to rule either. I wanted to be the greatest star pilot in all of the galaxy. You were a pilot. You flew an X-Wing in your last film. This isn't Star Wars. This was written first. When the dreams of a holy war waged in my name. Christ, he's mumbling again. Come, my son. Maracas awaits. This land is the power of spice. But I'm afraid it's full of the free men. Fremen. And the dreaded sandworms. There's one now! Oh, bloody hell, it's going for the spice! The Emperor means for us to die out here! I wonder what the Venom Jesuits want from me here. Paul, do me a favour. You're going to have to start speaking up. I can never understand a word you're saying. They took our land from us. <clears throat> the Emperor would be with us if we destroyed House Atreides. <clears throat> I famously huge turds! Why you look like Dengar? So crowd! Remove the gag. What? Remove her gag. No, I won't. Remove her gag. Shan't. Remove her fucking gag. Okay. Oh, okay. Sandworms are everywhere. We must do the sand walk. We must cross the whole desert like this. Only until we get bored of it. I know she soon awaits. The Fremen woman. I can see it all before me. My destiny. The desert power. Power in the desert. The dew.
Uh, I quite like the DIY special effects there. <laughs> well done, James. Well done and good luck to you too. Uh, next film we are about to screen is a game spoof of Last Night in Soho, which seems to be a popular film this year. And it's Last Night in Yeovilles by James Murphy. Did you get the letter that I sent? When I was asking for consent Didn't leave a answer It's good news, isn't it, Mum? I hope London is just as glamorous as it was back then. Thank you for your application to the London College of Fashion. We are pleased to offer you a place at our sister campus in Yeovil. Where's Yeovil? No fucking clue. Oh, if I weren't made of ectoplasm. Can't say anything nowadays. Finally, a pretty face to unburden our immortal souls. Help us out, love lips. You're room under my sheet. You, uh, lost gorgeous. I'm looking for Mrs. Holland. Ah, oh, you're after the spare room. She's upstairs. Simon half uncle. That's right. Best of both worlds, baby. You know, Paul Simon sent me fan mail. <laughs> oh, it's my dream to go back to the 60s. In Soho. No offence. You know, the real deal used to play here back in the day. <laughs> You're kidding. Good times. <sighs> Except for all that murder. No smokers, no boys, and uh, no looking under my floorboards. I don't know any boys. I, I do experience some vivid parasocial interactions, but I don't smoke. Nice dress. Thanks, I love the vintage look. <laughs> Word of advice, don't dream of the past. It might be the death of you. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Shit. It's exactly the same. Come on, love legs, just wanna talk. You said the real Simon and Garfunkel played here. I'm the real Simon Half Uncle. Original and best, but I hope to pass that good half uncle name down to my son and his son after him. I thought the real deal played here. The real Simon and Garfunkel in Yeovil. <laughs> You're nuts. But luckily, I like nuts. <laughs> Don't tell me you've never dreamed of a threesome. This is never going to Save me, sugar tits. The only thing harder than being undead is... Get out of my way! Simon Garfunkel killed Sandy. Simon Garfunkel not dead. Alexa, are Simon and Garfunkel dead? Sandy was killed in that room, wasn't she? I'm Sandy, dear. I killed him. And every other disgusting man in this town. Now that you know my secret, I'm going to have to kill you, too. We've been trying to tell you, honey bats. Maybe if you smiled more, you wouldn't be in this mess. Wait, so the sexual predators are the victims and you, the victim, are the villain? That's not a very satisfying twist. Yes, well, it's not like the Hot Fuzz fanboys are going to notice. Or care. So you 
killed every single problematic man in Yeovil. <laughs> Started with Simon back in the day, and I didn't stop. Every sweetheart, every sugar tits, oh, even the new Simon pushed it too far, so I offed him too. <laughs> every single one. Yeovil's pretty small, but still, it was a lot of work. I'm so sorry about this, Ellie. It gives me very little pleasure to stab you up. <laughs> Help! Help me, babe. Help me. Help! Help. Help. I... I get it. Maybe with my romanticising and, and your brutally murdering people, we're trying to do the same thing. Escape the shitty reality of being a woman and pretending, at least for a fraction of a moment, that... Everything's okay? Well, that was yet another take on The Last Night in Soho by James Murphy. Um, thank you very much for that and good luck to you too. The next film we're about to see is Freestyle Cowboy Showdown by Liam Taylor. And Liam has had a hard task of spoofing The Power of the Dog this year. That's won nearly everything at the BAFTA or quite something at the BAFTA. And um, without further ado, Let's watch Freestyle Cowboy Showdown. It's a glorious day here at the All Right Corral. Our finalists are preparing to face off so we can finally crown the Freestyle Cowboy King. <laughs> Exciting stuff, isn't it, Diamond Casey? That's right, Billy. In fact, you might say, you're darn tootin'. This is a tiebreaker event between reigning champion, true cowboy, Phil Burbank, and the challenger, this small, sticky boy. My name's Peter. Both contestants bagged the same number of points in the knockout round, so must now face off in an unprecedented tiebreak event. It's a fantastic turnout today. Crowd are eager to get cracking. Yay! We haven't had a tiebreaker event here in 30 years, and you can taste the tension in the air. But how do we get to this point, Billy? Let's take a look back at the competition so far. In round one, Phil Burbank fought off against Big Hank Wachowski, who performed some kind of rudimentary dressage on his noble steed, Falafel. A bizarre show from Wachowski that left Burbank completely open to pull off something none of us were expecting. I made you a small desk for your big desk. Now that is lovely. When Sticky Boy Pete first entered the ring, we, we didn't think he was capable of very much. But lucky for him, Mini Decker just could not lasso that cow. One of the most basic things you ever have to do as a cowboy, Billy. Oh, Mini! So when Sticky Pete whipped out the evening standard and tore it up into that gorgeous bouquet, we knew he'd be one to watch. Things really started to heat up in the third round when Phil Burbank showed us something really special.
That scarf was, of course, gifted to him by his beloved partner, Bronco Henry. Now, in response, uh, Clayton Obadiah had a little gift for us. Remember this, Billy? Oh. Somebody get rid of these, please. Whew. I do declare. That brown between Sticky Pete and Cow Bailey was another shocker. Pete proved once again to be unpredictable. Kai Bailey was also thinking outside the box on that one. Attempting to eat a record-breaking number of beans. He didn't even make it through one can, Diamond. Why did he fill up on bread, Billy? Why? Well, I suppose we'll have to ask Kai Bailey, but we can't because he's dead. Now, it's been a long day of rooting and tooting, and I think we're all eager to see who comes out on top. The tiebreaker event is a little bit different. It's time for a good old-fashioned tug of war. Pete's got a handsome pair of gloves on there. Do you think that'll give him any advantages, Casey? Mm, it's just my billy, but remember, Burbank was offered a similar pair of gloves and has opted to go barehanded. You gotta believe this tough veteran knows what he's doing. Looks like Burbank's finally going to pick up the rope. Wait, what, what is this? What's happened? What's going on? I killed him. I murdered him to win. I, 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 don't, I don't know, Casey. This is entirely open to interpretation. My name is Peter, and I killed Phil Burbank. I can't make it any clearer. It's a mystery for sure. There's no mystery here. I am a murderer. Looks like newcomer Sticky Boy Pete has won himself the title of Freestyle Cowboy King, <laughs> along with a year's supply of soup and <laughs> some erotic magazines. You can't defeat the beast! Well, it was uh, Liam's directorial debut, in fact, which was very impressive. Uh, well done, Liam, to you. And on to our next film, that is a spoof of Belfast, and it's titled Belfast, The Divide by Malcolm Medell. Not a penny to spend, got an hour to lend. As my feet get closer to the ground, I'm hoping that the cold won't get in my way. No money for my bread, just the floor to call my bed. Though the answer is near and nothing is clear, I'll be walking straight ahead. I know I may not make it, it's a quest of my own. And through the winds and the Sean. Sean. I saw that night. What the actually fuck? Sean? Sean! Is, it, is this you? I'm one of your childish forts. You're nearly 30 for fuck's <laughs> sake. Ah, are they? What's this? Wait, am I dreaming? <sighs> Shit, I must have smoked too much of that devil's lettuce last night. Willie, are you okay? Mm. What's going on? I have no idea. How, how do we sleep through this? 
Nope. We're not getting through this. Must be made of some super corrugated dual layer material or something. Well, it's a big word for you. Corrugated. You've been reading the dictionary again. Just unfortunate that your house is right in the center where we're building the wall. This is highly unacceptable. How are we supposed to live like this? You have divided this family. You'll adapt. The rest of the country has to. It's the just yeah, that's in this mess. Oh, martial law is in place. So don't leave the house either. You will be warned. Hey! Well, how are we supposed to survive? Well, we've got a huge something wall in the middle of our house. Well, my son, that sounds like a year problem. That sounds like a year problem. What was that? Don't make me come over there. Shut that retard up before I throw him in jail. Please do. You've been trying to get rid of him for years. Pa! Don't talk about Billy that way. Yeah, he's a retard. But he's our retard. Don't worry, Corporal Alim. I'll handle it from here, don't you worry. Anyway, stay indoors, adapt, and deal with it. I don't want to have to come back here. Sean, are you there? Still here, sweetie. Already miss you so much. How are we going to survive like this? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we've just got to get true and you've just got to be strong, you know? Baby. Yeah? What are you wearing right now? Sean! It is not the time for this. Ah, I'm just so horny. You know, you know I have a medical condition. And you know little Mark wants some good good in the morning. Oh my God, stop. Sean, what are you doing? What are you doing? I just want to see you, my love. A moment without you feels like an eternity. You're an idiot. Mm. You okay, Billy? Stay strong, my little man. Little man? I'm fucking nearly 30. And why do you always have to be so condescending? And actually, on that matter, why do we even call you Pa? This is a house here, and you're not my dad. It's short for Patrick. And I'm only trying to help. Look, I know some of you don't like me. But we're in this together. And like it or not, we're stuck this way. Now, we have the kitchen. And you have the... Well... <laughs> we have the kitchen. So I guess you better listen to us. I can't tap this. I can't fucking take this! It's the Catholics coming to our place, taking our fucking jobs! I've just had enough! Yeah, yeah. Was the last night when we saw walking hand in hand, saying goodbye with the long pause, the things you couldn't see, your eyes just gave away. I show you how I feel, hope you open up, hope you give me all of your thoughts I just wanna know, so I can let it go For you won't let me forget you, you know that I've tried to, yeah I try to give this up for now, yeah I still uh, Well done Malcolm, quite an unusual take on Belfast uh, Good luck with your film this year and before we start with our awards I would like to introduce some of our judges. Among our esteemed judges this year we have Tom Laws, um, filmmaker, film director and composer known for films like Amaryllis, Last Projectionist and Monochrome. We have Karen Bryson MBE, a prolific actress and producer known for TV series Black Narcissus, uh, safe, Mother, Father, Son, and for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Amazing achievements. 
Our next judge is Damon Smith, who is one of the most read film critics in UK and Ireland, working for Press Association. Uh, please welcome Steve First as well, who is a comedian known for his appearances in Little Britain and for his comedy character Lenny Beige. We have Paul McAvoy, who is the founder of the Fright Fest, uh, the biggest uh, horror film festival in Europe. Um, so very appreciate his time as well. We have two special judges this year as well. Among them are Julian McKeith, who is a TV presenter and judging best costume design for the second year. And we have Erica Bergsmads, who is a established photographer and editor-in-chief of a blowout magazine. We would like to thank all of our judges and our sponsors this year. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. And among our sponsors are once again, British Association of Journalists, Icon London Magazine, Kirk & Kirk Eyewear, the online CBD shop and Royal Riviera Champagne. Thank you very much. And now, without further ado, let's crack on with the awards. And I would like to present you our trophies this year, made by an artist, Victor Kiss, who we thank for his amazing work. These are our fabulous trophies. I know, they're so amazing. So let's find out who is going to take those amazing trophies home. But before we do that, let's just watch all of the trailers once again. Okay, and let's start with special categories this year. First one is Best Costume, judged by Julian McKeith. And the Best Costume winner is Last Night in Boho by Beck Wallen. Well done, Beck. Congratulations. Next one is Best Poster, judged by Erica Bergsmitz. Uh, let's see who that is. Behind the House of Gucci by Artie Brennan. Congratulations, Artie. Well done on your poster. Now on to the main categories. And this year I would like to uh, introduce one new category, which is Best Marketing. And for this category, we judge one of the last year's winners on how well they've marketed their film. And this year's winners, well, last year's participant, actually, uh, for the best marketing is Artie Brennan with his film Nomad Life. And they awarded for their amazing work in promoting their film going forward and their, their screenings at the Battle of the Sketches, among other things. Congratulations. Well done, Artie Brennan, on all your hard work. Now, next award is for Best Cinematography. And the winner is Freestyle Cowboy Showdown by Liam Taylor. Well done, Liam, congratulations. Very well deserved, indeed. Best Editing. And Best Editing goes to Last Night in Yeovil by James Murphy. Congratulations, James, well done. The Best Original Score goes to Beach by James Allen. Well done, James, on your amazing work spoofing Hans Zimmer. Best writing goes to Last Night in Yeovil by James Murphy. Well done, James, congratulations yet again. Amazing work. Best director, we're getting to very, very high ranked categories here. So best director winner is Belfast, The Divide, and it goes to Malcolm Medell. Well done, Malcolm. Congratulations. Best male actor of the DAFTAS 2022 goes to Artie Brennan, Behind the House of Gucci. Well done with your Jared Leto performance. Best female actor this year goes to Beck Wallen, 
for her performance at the last night in Boho and acting so many characters. Well done, Beck. Congratulations. And best spoof of the Daftas 2022 goes to some drum roll here. Last night in Yeovil by James Murphy. Congratulations, James. Well done. That's third award this year. And last but not least, we have introduced a very funny award called You're Simply the Best. And it is judged absolutely arbitrary. There are no rules to it. So this year, we decided to give You Simply the Best to Belfast the Divide goes to Malcolm Medell for his amazing work and really unusual vision and how it's possible to make a film in one take. One take. Congratulations, Malcolm. You're simply the best.